Hello, everybody. It's been a week for y'all, a second for me, since the last video. And we have a site, we have a quest here. We got some L's, we got some challenges, collections, talents, some gear. We're gonna check out what these owls have sent me. Ooh, wow. We're gonna not look at those for now, and we're gonna just leave them be. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to take a trip over to Hogsmeade. And you may ask me, well, why? It's for something very persistent. Suspicious. Particular is the word I'm going to use. We are going to get myself a magical device known as a broom. My very own, in fact. Rebellion. Okay, I don't like when it's in the chest here when I can't see it yet. Ah, uh, there's a door, that's why. Okay. Something right here. This doesn't seem right. New face! Wonderful! I don't like the looks of them. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got That's a few rare U weavers available. Ember Dash, Silver Arrows, Wind Wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take Wind Wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. U weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the U1's darker reputation. Then you add the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. I'll take a look. Thank Sounds you. quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? I don't have a lot, but let's see. I do like the dark lightning broom. I just got enough for it. Let's preview it. That item is of the highest quality. Wait, what? It's sleek, superior broom designed to celebrate those who dare dabble in the dark arts. I mean, I like the look of it. It's very cheap, to say the least. Ember Dash, perfect broom for those with a fiery temperament. That item is of the highest quality. Hogwarts House Broom, a broom chanted, uh, broom enchanted to celebrate your particular Hogwarts House pride. That item is of the highest quality. Let's see, that one's like the most expensive one here. Moon Trimmer Broom, finely crafted from ash. This broom is built for. That ground. item is of the highest quality. I like it too. It has a lantern on it. It has it has some nice things. That item is of the highest quality. Wind Wisp Room, a stylish room with a light touch. Quite literally, has a nice lantern on it too, and it has a seat, so you have some padding, and it kind of arches up, so you have a nice look. That's actually really useful. This that item nice. is of the highest quality. Okay, Ember Dash actually looks kind of nice. Look at that. 
That is actually very nice looking. And then this is the Weave Weaver Broom. A comfortable and speedy broom with a unique woven design. That item is of the highest quality. Yeah, this one doesn't look nice. I mean, I would love to have this one, but I feel like it would hurt. That item is of the highest quality. This one looks the best. Not gonna lie. And then you got the Wind Wisp. It's nice. That I like item this is one. of the highest quality. They're all only 600. But this one doesn't have the seating. Well, this one has seating. And this one has that seating. That item is of the highest quality. It's pretty fancy looking. I'll take this one, please. And then... You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Thanks. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, Ooh. they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? You took her class? Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fit in I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the Cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. Get on you, mate. Why am I the right person for this? Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and a knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. And how did your passion for brooms begin? How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Sure, sounds worth a try, Mr. Weeks. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you! It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The Ooh. time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Sure thing. Okay. Ah, <sighs> can't help but admire his enthusiasm. God. So let's check out what quest I got. Okay, that sounds like a good one. And then we get the rumor kind of conjuring spell and oh actually gets three things from this. Let's go for this glass. Hit the map, and then I'll hit Hogwarts.
Yeah, there goes the charms classroom. Surprisingly, I don't have the astrology wing. wing, wing, wing. Oh, there we go. That's something. Italians and a historian's uniform. It was brilliant solving those old treasure maps. Revelio. Urge. I like this old uniform. I don't want to do every single side quest, at least not right now. Why does it give me a, like a no out location? I don't know why that popped up there out of nowhere, but okay. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Oh. I've always loved these hidden doors. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. It's kind of open on its own. Uh... What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Seems I find it. Oh, there it is. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Moonstone. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is 
that... goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. Hey, I'll we... just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Hey, I want waited for... Hey, I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you expected. Let me know if you want to try to meet again. Sincerely, P. Rebellion. Oh, dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. I'm pretty sure you rested long enough. Just got some more. Well. Revelio. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! Oh, no, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! Oh, didn't work. Rebellion! This place is just full of stuff. What's this? A bit offended, the room thought I needed a bath, cheeky thing. <laughs> okay, I saw something back this way. Rebellion. Lumos. Accio. There we go. That took forever. Kind of aim. And when I get down here, I need to go make sure I get some, make some wigan potion. Revelio. Ooh. I like these, uh, lanterns. <clears throat> How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Why is it so unorganized? My question. Incendio. That's my one. Revelio. What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Rude. Okay, look, we can potion. Rebellion. I hope that house elf can find us in here. We'll see. Okay, that is definitely the way through. 
So my first instinct is to go back and check out what I missed. Check out the push spell before coming in here. Get myself stuck. to be evened out. I need to get it through the hole. Yeah. There's gotta be a way for me to get in here and get back there on this belt. It doesn't matter, I'll just continue I guess. It's not Rebellion. like I've missed anything important, right?
Found him. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. <sighs> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes, imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. I'm gonna grab that page. Just You've given adjusting. yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Oh. You have the unlocked... The uh, desk of description, use it to reveal magical properties of any unidentified gear that you've collected. This will be more useful when I have something to identify. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Well, my heart's over like that. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. 
You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. And it sounds wonderful. I got so many. <laughs> it is not even funny. So let's just go with that small scientific station. I like this a lot. So I'm gonna have my brewing corner right here. Can I okay yeah I can, awesome. Here's your budget, okay. Yeah, the biology. Let's go with the plants over right here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Small one. Wait, this for a while. So these are just looks. Scientific. So I got different types I could put in here. This one looks like a mess, I don't want that. This one just seems like it has a lot of water. Although I like this gothic one. Let's try to look at it. I think I'm gonna have to be forced at this one because it's got all the drawers. So if I have any new ones I can put down, I'll put them down here. Uh, let's click right here. Right there. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Sanding. Sorry, I have to do that. Get the white and black. Sorry, I saw those and I had it. Put them down. For now, you can stay right in the middle of the room. You just look beautiful. Yeah, look at that thing. Tables. Decorate a scientific table. I already have one of those. <laughs> Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. 
can I use transfiguration magic anywhere? Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. She got really aggressive there for a second. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Thank you, Professor. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Well, it looks like we're going to be forced to end the video here. Oh, I would love to learn more. But, as I said, I have to end the video here, so... I will see you all next time we play here. Saving the game. All right, in the save. Is that what we do? And I'll see you all next time. Peace.